We got uh, Demarcus Sharp to uh, represent the players uh, this evening. He had 13 points in uh, 26 minutes, and we'll jump straight into questions for him. I think his question, Demarcus, was uh, what changed between the first half and the second half? I mean, you just got to keep fighting. I mean, we just lost a lot of, like, focus. Like, we have to focus and, and finish the game. It, was, it wasn't there tonight, which the good thing about tonight is – See them again. We don't have to wait weeks and months to play them again, which we got them tomorrow. So we have to lock in, forget all the you know the game about the game tonight. Focus on the one tomorrow. Hey, Demarcus, can you talk about uh, Roman Penn just kind of caught fire there at the end of that uh, the last ten minutes of the game? Um, just your thoughts on that, and and what do you need to do tomorrow to try to keep him bottled up a little bit? Oh, I mean, just just play play aggressive. We got we got to play like they they play aggressive. We have to play aggressive. We have to actually no more just you know let him do what he what he want to do. Just this our house. We have to play aggressive and things need to change. And tomorrow they will change. Marcus, you guys played great defense there in that first half. Uh, is that something you can build off of as you come back tomorrow night? Oh, for sure. We preach, we preach defense and defending. We will for sure bounce back and be even better tomorrow, for sure. Uh, DeMarcus, you bring up that you guys didn't have time. the same energy um, just in the second half there. Did you guys get complacent at all? Just kind of what was the, what was the change for you guys? I wouldn't say complacent. Uh, I mean, it just I don't know. Like it's it's all it is always like the first half, which we have to learn to. Keep, keep, keep coming, keep pushing, finish. We need to finish, which we know how to finish. It's just, it's just real slow right now, which we building on it. At halftime in the locker room, I mean, what, what did coach tell you? What was the atmosphere in there? Was it like, oh, this is easy? Or, or what were you guys thinking in the, at halftime? Uh, uh, no, sir. Uh, every, every halftime, every game that we've been up 20 or more, it's the same energy as when we came into the game. He, he preaches. Keep keep it on the next. Keep playing. Finish finish the half out. We got 20 more minutes. I mean, of course, of course, you'll be happy. You know, you 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 get excited, a little excited, but we can't be relaxed. All right. What what's the attitude in the locker room now? I mean, are the heads up for the guys, or is it is it a real big gut punch? Uh, with me being with me, Gage, Mosley, Jamonte being leaders, we we keep everybody heads up. I mean, it's just lost. Everybody, everybody has to lose. I mean, it's going to, a lose is going to come. I mean, we're going to bounce back. But as far as the heads, everybody, everybody is up. We push that, that loss away. Now we focus on tomorrow. Marcus, is the good thing uh, about this schedule after a tough loss, knowing that you get to get right back out there in 24 hours and do it again? Yeah, that's, that's, that's the great part about it. Not waiting. We can get them again. We know what to do. We can adjust to anything they're running. So it will be everything. It will be a different ball game tomorrow for sure. All right, DeMarcus, we appreciate you helping us out tonight. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah, have a nice one. All right. We'll be back with uh, Coach Ford here in just a few minutes as soon as he gets off radio. So we'll put it on pause for just a second. Coach, if you could just maybe uh, open up with a quick statement on uh, kind of the tale of two halves here tonight, and then we'll go straight into questions. Sure. Um, you know, obviously not the outcome that we would like, and um, we would have to put together two really good halves to, to beat a team of, of this stature. And uh, we, we, we were unable to do that on the offensive end. And uh, so we, we ended up not, not getting the outcome that we, we would probably all want. So can not play one half of basketball against a, a, a championship caliber team. What changed there in the second half? I just felt like we weren't as aggressive. Uh, whether that be rebounding, driving the ball, attacking the press, moving the ball, cutting on offense, just our, our level of, of intensity and, and our, our edge seemed to, seemed to dull off. Coach, on the flip side of that, in the first half, your team seemed to play really solid defense and, and kept them out of rhythm the whole half. I thought we did a great job on both sides of the ball in the first half. I mean, they shot... 33% in the first half. And, and I'm sure that's a that's got to be close to a season low and probably for the game. I mean, they shot 36%. So, um, you know, we we just we just didn't we didn't have our edge for 40 minutes and you, you just cannot do that. And that's that's just 
when you don't have that edge, uh, they, do you think they got complacent at all, building up a 17-point lead? Uh, just cause Did you notice something change just in their mentality? It maybe got a little too comfortable. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, no one said it, but, I mean, I think their actions showed that. I mean, I, I don't know why they would plan a plan a undefeated team, a really good team. I, I don't know why they would, but 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 obviously, yeah, they they lost their edge. Coach, you were uh, able to get Prim inside in the first half, and then they uh, kind of boxed him away in the second half. Well, a lot of that is in transition where we catch the defense, uh, trying to trying to get back, and we get it in there, and, and um, you know, in the second half. I didn't think we ran hard in, in transition and try to get an early post feed. And then once we got in the half court, that, that allowed for them to, to double down every time he got in a, you know, a, a, a scoring area. And um, again, when, when you don't run as hard and cut as hard and move the ball as hard, you get complacent and stagnant. And, and I felt like we probably missed him on a couple entries but it, 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 it all has to work together. You, you can't just stand around and try to throw it in there. It all has to work together. Is Gage Prem healthy? We saw a little bit of a limp there in the second half. Yeah, he just had cramps, I think. You talked about trying to push the transition game towards the end of the second half. You were really yelling at your team to move the ball down the floor quickly when they got aboard. Is that something that you're going to try to do tomorrow? I mean, I thought we were fantastic in transition in the first half. I mean, I, we've been really good in transition all year long. Um, yeah, I mean, we're going to try to push it hard. I mean, we, you know, we want to try to get a layup. It's the best shot in basketball. And, and the only way to get layups against good teams is to push it hard. And uh, for whatever reason, second half, we, we just didn't quite have it. And, and, and that's, that's my job. I, I've got to be able to uh, uh, get our guys to, to, to duplicate things and, and make sure that we don't have letdowns. Coach, uh, DeMarcus was talking about the, thankfully they can, you guys can come back in 24 hours and get at them again. Do you kind of feel the same way with this back-to-back -back, that you can uh, kind of correct some things and get at them? Well, I mean, anytime you have a tough loss, you, you like to get out there as soon as you can. It, it doesn't sit with you very, very long. So um, we're, we're going to have to show some toughness tomorrow and, and uh, hopefully we put this one, uh, we, 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 we put this one away, can't get it back and, and, and rebound tomorrow. You were able to bottle up uh, Roman Penn pretty well in the first half. He goes for 15 in the second. What did you see uh, kind of change in the what? Was it a him thing or was it a defensive thing for you guys? Well, we, we probably should have made some adjustments. Um, you know, we, we held him down pretty good in the first half. So I, I don't know if you if you change it then. But but once he got going a little bit, we, we couldn't quite put the fire out. But um, they, 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 they create a lot of problems for you defensively. And and uh, he, he's the, the, the head of the snake. And um, I thought he made some big shots, some big threes. And um, we'll, we'll have to make some, some, some game one to game two adjustments for sure. But uh, I thought he stepped up and made big plays. 16 turnovers. And Drake's one of the best teams in the country at turning it over. Uh, I'm sure that has to be something that you're focused on going in the market. Well, first half, they only had uh, five points off turnovers. It's the number one key of the game offensively is take care of the ball and make them play against our set defense. And in the second half, they had nine. And um, I'll go back and chart each turnover like we always do. And I'm sure I'll write down when two people are guarding you just, just pass the ball. Three minutes for Ritter in the second half, just kind of went uh, behind choosing to have him there. Yeah, you know, um, just just a matchup deal. And, and, and uh he, he didn't do anything wrong, but but just a matchup situation. We, we were trying to play faster, uh, uh, given to Marcus Sharp. He makes us faster. And so um, he, he had a great first half. And Lukai Patterson had a great first half. They were pressuring us and, you know, just trying to attack the basket and, and, and keep their defense in rotation and and um, just, just try to be more aggressive off the bounce.